Chinese are too poor to afford cars. Or at least they had money to buy cars, but now not anymore. Now they're driving bicycles and uh, tricycles and uh, motorbikes and whatnot. Except what you see behind me, right? And I am in the province of Jiangxi in the city of Nanchang. Never heard about it. Well, I'm not surprised. I never heard about it either until my wife took me here. Uh, some of my family members are living here, and as you can see, yeah, they have cars here as well. Not just in the big cities of Beijing and Shanghai and uh, Shenzhen, and oh, Shenzhen, where I'm from. Uh, you can see everything is doing well, like there are lots of cars, lots of new cars. So, I mean, are Chinese not driving any more cars because they don't have money? Now they are driving still cars, and I mean, as long as soon as they have money, they are buying cars. And now they are, it's just like they they are not buying any more that many um, American and European cars. Still, still, you can see like uh, Volkswagens, uh, a fair amount of here, and BMWs and Mercedes. Like if you, uh, I mean, just like there, uh, BMWs uh, driving around. Uh, further behind, you can see a Mercedes-Benz, uh, an SUV, expensive, and more and more, there, uh, Ford, an American car. So yeah, Amer uh, China is doing well, and cars are still being driven in China. Stop listening to some of those YouTubers that are telling you absolutely nonsense. I mean, here's the proof. See, all is going well. Hmm? So, yeah, I'm with my family here, so I said, and yeah, China's doing well. Lots of cars, a lot of cars. It's Chinese New Year. That's why, uh, by the way, there are so many cars here. So, yeah, the believe whoever you want to i just show you what i see with my own eyes until the next time goodbye